we will discuss a clinical case of a HER2 positive uh, metastatic breast cancer patient and discuss it how we would manage that patient according to the ESMO guidelines, which are actually the ABC guidelines, so the ESO, ESMO, ABC guidelines. And we, these guidelines are made um, to, in a way that they can be adapted to uh, any country around the world. Uh, we will discuss how we would manage the patient in an European country, such as mine, and also Dr. Dent will uh, discuss how this patient be managed in the Asian Pacific uh, uh, field. So, of course, we have different access to uh, medication and um, different drugs are approved or not approved in the different countries around the world and therefore that can have an impact on the different lines of therapy for uh, HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. Probably the HER2 positive uh, advanced breast cancer has been the area with the most, uh, the most important advances and it has changed this type of breast cancer from one that had the worst outcome to the one that has almost the best outcome nowadays and it is not unfrequent that patients live eight, nine years with metastatic disease. And this has, has um, a lot has to do with the fact that we have new drugs, uh, new drugs that are able to improve survival. And this is very difficult to achieve in metastatic breast cancer. And therefore, uh, with, the, uh, with the approval of these drugs, we have been able to change the outcome of the patients. Now, the access to these drugs is not, unfortunately, the same all over uh, the world. Even inside Europe, if in the different European countries, the access is different. And also inside Asia, uh, the access in the different Asian countries is also different. And therefore, we, we, we also believe that ha that has an impact in the uh, time that these patients are alive and also in their quality of life. So these are issues that are very important to discuss. The two la latest drugs to be approved for this setting have been pertuzumab and TDM1. These are uh, very good drugs that are associated in certain specific uh, populations with an increased survival. Now these drugs are also very expensive and um, particularly pertuzumab has to be given together with trastuzumab which also increases uh, the cost. Nevertheless, in the ABC guidelines we have issued recommendations on what would be the optimal management of these uh, patients and namely the use of a combination of trastuzumab and pertuzumab in the first line uh, of treatment not for all patients, but for the majority of patients, chemotherapy plus these two monoclonal antibodies. And then after first line, uh, the preferred second line is TDM1, again, if it is available. Now we also have many other uh, options that include chemotherapy plus trastuzumab, and several types of chemotherapy agents can be combined with trastuzumab. And for the uh, small percentage of ER positive, HER2 positive, uh, we also have the pos uh, potential to give endocrine therapy plus an anti-HER2 agent. So there are uh, several options of treatment for these uh, women, and the guidelines try to provide guidance uh, through what is the preferred first, second and beyond lines of treatment for these patients.